Have I ever seen a dog fight? Yeah, yeah. I've seen a few. Is that right? What's that like? I've never, of course, I've never been exposed to anything like that. What's that like? I mean, you go to the place where they got the dog fights. We used to go down, like, because I grew up in Indiana mm -hmm. when I was a little bitty boy. Right. And we used to go to Kentucky. And in Kentucky, they have the fights of the dog. They didn't have them pit bull dogs back when I was growing up. It wasn't the kind of dog. They had, like, the German Shepherd. Ah. And they had other dogs like that. And then, you know, them guard attack dogs be fighting each other. And people put money in a box, and then you get to bet on which dog you want to win. Hmm. Yeah. I've never seen I never seen the pit bull fight except for three times. Yeah, it sounds terrible. But then, then ain't on top, wrong with it. There ain't much wrong with it. I mean, it's just a sport. Well, it is bad. It's a crime. It's a felony. Well, I don't know about that, but they got different things where, you know, you can win a lot of money if you pick the right dog. Just like the chicken fight. You ever been to that? I know. I've never been to a cock fight either. Yeah, they got all that stuff. That stuff. I mean, it's fun. Well, but it's there, also a crime. You know, it's a crime, though. But beyond that, though, the, like I say, there's a crime wave in the NFL. Another Bengal has been arrested, a Cincinnati Bengal, a backup running back, Quincy Wilson. He got arrested for disorderly conduct. I guess he uh, he refused to disperse at a wedding, which is exactly what happened at my wedding, by the way. But that's neither here nor there. My, you know, me and my uh, friends, we wouldn't disperse, and the cops had to come do it. And then... Pac-Man Jones, he and his posse, you know, they're looking to talk to him because I guess some guys in his posse shot up another strip club late at night the other night. So what do you make of this? Why is there so much crime in the NFL? But these kids don't respect nobody, for one. Their parents is bad. They mm. don't raise them the right way. The Pac-Man Pac Jones, Pac -Man Jones mm -hmm. he, uh, he don't listen. I he, see. Told, he told the commissioner that he wasn't going to be outside past midnight. And what happened? He's still, and he always go in them clubs where the girls ain't got the shirts on. I'm yeah, that's thinking, right. The stri Oh, you're not a fan of strip clubs. I ain't really liking that because I don't want to just look. I see. I got you. You show me your goodies. I want to get them. I get you. Yeah, you don't like yeah, going halfway I mean, all the way for a, you. He got all the money in the world. All he got to do is tell the girl, hey, I got $40. Come on. He want to sit there. $40 is all it takes to get a lady of the night? I don't know. And everywhere, it don't, I don't know. They all got different prices. Mm -hmm. well, but it's I, all the same, no? Well, I, I hope this isn't, uh, I don't want to embarrass you or anything like that, but I do know you say that they have bad parents. I know that one of your sons spent a little time behind bars. Uh, you know, I probably didn't tell him the right thing. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I'm not saying I'm an A-plus student mm -hmm. of parenting, but I'm saying if the kids are bad, it's the parents' fault. I got you. And what about the fact, I know you're, uh, obviously you're a black man. What do you think about Marvin Lewis of the Bengals saying I that the since... He should be fired because he is the problem. Yes. He's the one that brought them players in. It's his responsibilities of that. So you don't agree with him saying that the Cincinnati police are profiling them because essentially they're large black guys and so they stand no, out in no. that area. You don't believe they that? Need, no, they need to fire him because he don't have no control over that team. Mm -hmm. And if this Steeler coach does the same thing, you got to let him go. Well, I don't think it's a problem. He hasn't done anything wrong yet, so we'll see that. Well, I'm just saying, just in case. All right, just in case. We'll keep uh, our eyes on that. Now, the Ed, I have a favor to ask you. Uh, on Friday, I want to do, we have a lot of people who call into the show, yourself included, like we started this segment with uh, one of your songs when you called in before to the show. I was wondering, do you have any great talent besides the singing? Because we have a lot of talented people that call into the show and who work at the show. And we're going to do, uh, I'd like to give away some stuff with a talent show here on Friday night. I was wondering if you might be able to call in and share whatever talent you have. I don't know if you want to do another song or, you know, I'm anything pretty else. Good at, I'm pretty good at shooting dice. Well, that, I know, that won't come across over the radio. Something that we can, you know, hear rather than have to look I at. I don't cook too good. Well, again, that wouldn't make. That's again, that wouldn't do much for the radio, anyhow. Well, I don't know. I mean, I always got songs. I mean, okay. it's the time for me to sing the song. It's the song time. Like that, yeah, exactly. We'll save it. Why don't you? And then I'd love for you to be on the show on Friday, and you could do one of those songs for us. 
Yeah, I could probably do one. I mean, I don't know how to write them or nothing. Or, or if you wanted to write a poem, even, that would be nice. Or I could write... You know, I gave a girl a poem a long time ago, and, and she gave me all her love. Ah, oh, that's nice. That's very nice. How are things going, by the way, with uh, your current girlfriend? She's doing fine. Good. We had a we had a big weekend this weekend, and she cooked for me, and she came over and we watched TV, mm. and we had, we had a good old time. Wonderful. I'm thinking I'm thinking about going on vacation with her. Well, uh, I don't know if she's gonna go or not. She said. It just she said because you had a good time together. I assume that meant then that you were gonna go away together because you were having so much fun. Oh no no no! I want to go. I heard that that Mountaineer racetrack not too far. No, it's very close, right? Yeah, so I want to go there. And I told my son, and he said he'd try to, you know, take me up there. And I said, I want to go. What I, I want to make sure I can, you know, win some horses. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, well, listen, I think you could do that. I'd love to meet you over there and uh, bet the ponies. You have me sh show me the ropes because I'm not much, I don't know much about betting on the horses. So that'd be fun if you could show me the ropes. Yeah, I know all about that. I win all the time. Oh, good. All and right, then, Dad. Listen, I got to go because we're uh, running very late, very late tonight, and uh, so I got to take another break here. But I'll let you go now, and then uh, I hope to talk to you maybe before, and if not, then uh, maybe on Friday night you could, like I say, maybe a poem or a song or something like that. I listen all the time, so if you say, hey, Ed, call the show, mm -hmm. I can do it. Wow, that's all really you nice. Just, all you do is just yell. That's all you got to say, Ed. <laughs> Call the show. Hey, the Ed, call the show. Like that. And I'll say hello. And you'll right. say, is this the Ed? And I'll say, this him. That's fantastic. And I'll be on the phone. Great, great. All right, Dad, for now, though, I'm not going to call you right now. I, I, in fact, i got to hang up the phone with you. But uh, but thanks I for calling in. Dinner. i got to eat dinner anyway. So. Okay, good. I hope you enjoy it, sir. All right, you have a good one.